following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Ready for some mayhem? Ready for some havoc? Uh, I'm not quite sure, actually. And her opponent, from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Ryan. Ruby Ryan has said all along, if I would was in the business of pleasing people, I wouldn't be here. I'll do things the way that I want to do them. That do-it-yourself ethos has served Ruby Riot incredibly well throughout her career. Mayhem, havoc, Ruby Riot is here. Here we go as we kick off this tables match. Leg sweep. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. The match of 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts, was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Ron Strummel was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love of brawling clashed with the Wyatt's drive to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatt's took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. Bubba Ray took on the Wyatt's with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray through the final table. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a backseat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off, Michael. Kofi seized the opportunity when Sheamus made a rare mistake. He drilled the Celtic Warrior with the Trouble in Paradise kick, and that set up Kofi to fly from the top rope and put Sheamus right through the table to earn the United States Championship. Ruby Riot and her cronies in the Riot Squad have made a big impact on WWE ever since they joined the main roster. These are three women who have an axe to grind, and they're coming out swinging. Inside the ring now. 
Talking more about Ruby Riot and the Riot Squad's reign of terror. They brutalized the entire SmackDown Live women's roster their first night and have kept up that chaos on Raw. Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan will spend the entire day riling up everyone backstage, but the Riot Squad's all about pain once they're in the ring. Now that's what I call squad goals. Natalia with the reversal. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. Hooked up and she is on fire. Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines. The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed brutality evolve and superstars crash through flaming tables. When you see Ruby Riot, you know that Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan are close by, just waiting to strike. And that is something that every competitor in the women's division must combat against. I don't like what you're insinuating, Cole. Ruby knows that when you're dealing with privileged people, the odds are often in their favor. Logan and Morgan even look out. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. I'd like to elaborate on my point about Ruby Riot's expertise in playing the numbers game, gentlemen. The result is the Riot Squad is running roughshod over the entire women's division. Well, we know that these unprovoked, often blindsided attacks are just going to continue, Michael. I don't know if there's anyone who can put an end to the Riot Squad's brutality and chaos. You gotta believe this one's over! Oh, so ruthless! Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. She's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Irish whip. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Ooh wee Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Here we go. Oh, targeting the stomach. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Natalia's chances just went from bad to worse. Irish whip. Ooh-wee. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Tremendous ring presence from the apron. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. The terrible strikes with Natty by nature. That's all she wrote, fellas. Suplex through. Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in a tables match. Here it is! We're looking at complete domination here.